Welcome back, everyone. Yes, it's we're back in the kitchen again. Because we're so good at this. We're so good. We have one of the winning recipes from our Cash Valley Creamery contest in the sponsored segment. Remember us doing those call outs for the last several yes. weeks? Send us your cheesy recipes. Well, thank you, Becky Banks, for sharing your hot cheese dip recipe. She says this is courtesy of her mom. And Becky, we're going to put our skills to the test in the kitchen and see if we can do it justice yes, right we'll now. Yes, try. So this is one that you would have at a holiday party. We've been talking a lot about parties and mm -hmm. get togethers on the show today. And she says that her mom used to make it in an electric skillet and then leave it on warm so you can enjoy it all night long. Or if it's Christmas day, you could go back and take a dip mm -hmm. anytime. Yeah. Um, she says she puts it in a crock pot after she makes it because then it stays good for hours and hours. But she says, lose the slow cook or keep warm option on your Instapot if you want to do that. Everybody loves this at get togethers. Yeah, I think it's one of those you just keep coming back and forth and and then you you wait a little while then you come back and it's great to have it nice and warm it smells so good yep. in our kitchen i mean this is that time i wish you could smell like what we're making because you would probably hover above this dip for quite some time yeah so niche i've got a small onion in here and it's okay. just turning translucent so that that's what smells really good that's juice. what you could it's so true yeah. okay, okay so you've been stirring that uh -huh. and the rest array is just dump that's what makes this so easy. I okay. love the sound so of that. So first, it's a large can of tomatoes okay. that you've drained. I mean, depending on if you like it juicy or not, right? You can leave the can juice in that? there. Yeah, do add that. Add that in there. Okay. okay, so there's that for you. Mm -hmm. I'm stirring. Okay, and then we do a pound of the Monterey Jack cheese. And this is where those Cash Valley uh -huh. products come in because you know that you have a high quality product. And so you can really use what you like, right? So this one is the four cheese Mexican. And since we're putting some spice into it, mm -hmm. well, why not put that in? They call for a pound of it. So if you want to put two bags of this, you can, or you can mix it up. So I'm going to mix it up. So okay. I'm going to put what one. What are you going to add? I'm going to do this. And then more Cash Valley Creamery cheese. This is the Monterey Jack. See, I love the Monterey Jack because it and has a little bite. And you can measure, but I just like to dump okay. like as much as well, I want. Well, all that needs to melt, so you are going to keep stirring mm -hmm. as that cheese melts into those onions and the tomatoes. What do you have the stove on? Like medium. Medium, medium. is good, yeah. So keep stirring so that cheese doesn't burn. And what um, I like, sometimes you can double the recipe because mm -hmm. if you have a big party, it's okay to have leftovers. I'm you know? such a fan of queso, and this yeah. feels like you're making mm -hmm. your own queso. Okay, okay, I'm mixing. Okay, so then you put in a four ounce can of green chilies. Oh, okay. And I like to, this is exactly what I like to get. They're already diced up mm -hmm. and ready to go, so you can just dump those in. Can I add those? Yep. Okay. Becky, oh, look at that. We have Christmas colors. Well, green have you and put tomatoes. Rotel in a dip uh -huh. like this too? Because you could that. do that because yeah. then the tomatoes already have the green chilies in there. Mm -hmm. um, so you've got your onion. The last thing to add is hot sauce, and that's just to taste. So, how do you and I feel about hot sauce? I love hot sauce. Wait, do you like Bring more? it on. You like more than I do? Yeah. Okay, so when I say to taste, how much do you like? Okay, keep going. Okay, I like mean, a little bit of that. And do more. More than that? More. Okay, so if your kids don't okay, like hot good. sauce, you could just add. A little bit of it and then to make it creamy mm -hmm. you can either do cream or milk mm -hmm. but I think we have cream yeah that we're George just decided we're gonna make a it really creamy. a little bit of that okay how's the melting process going hey it's working okay and you don't want to burn you just want to do it on medium and low because this will be on the stove or in your crock pot all day or all night. I would put this in the crock pot, but if you have an Instapot, you could do that as well. Again, uh, thank you so much for sending us this recipe because we haven't, are you ready to try I it? I am so ready. Becky, thank you so much for giving well, us the holiday dip too. and it's her mom, so thank you. Okay, so this and is what it looks like when it all melts and comes Ooh, together. Okay. You can add a little more Cash Valley cheese on top. Okay, I'm gonna grab a chip. Okay, give okay, it a you, shot. You taste it. Mm -hmm. My chip broke and fell in. Then, then you use the other chip the to Dig scoop it, it back. Yeah, scoop it. That is delicious. Mm -hmm. Just oh the God. right amount of kick. In yep. fact, that's a lot of kick. Everyone needs this recipe this mm -hmm. holiday. Is Go it to, spicy? It's spicy. Uh -huh. Go to our website, abc4.com slash gtu. Or you can see that code right there on your screen. Mm -hmm. You can totally click on that. And um, thank you so much again to our award-winning Cash Valley recipe. Oh, it does have a kick. It has a kick. I like it. it I need some water now, but it's so good. Thank you, Becky, and more, thank you, Becky's mom. More GTU when we come back, mm -hmm. everybody. I'm going in again. Okay.